Highline Wellness CBD enemas, good idea or not? We don't make any products specifically for that, but to each its own, and if that's how you like to consume it, then yeah, perfect. Chris Roth, founder and CEO of Highline Wellness. Are you ready to answer some questions? I am. What's your definition of wellness? Taking the necessary steps that personally allow you to be happy and present throughout the day and throughout the week. What stood out to you in the cannabis industry and why did you choose to enter the space? It was new, exciting, and I personally have been consuming THC for years and I thought that it was sort of unjustly discriminated against and criticized. I thought that marijuana got a bad rap for, for no reason. Being a part of that change in perception was exciting. How often do you use CBD? Every day. Could you live without it? No. Where did the idea come from? I actually spent six years at an investment bank, and through that process, I was studying the cannabis market, and at a conference, I was introduced to CBD. Everyone in LA knew what CBD was. I came back to New York, no one knew what it was, and immediately a light bulb went off. What's the worst misconception about CBD? That it gets you high. Do your grandparents think you sell weed? They still think I sell weed, and so does a large chunk of my family. Elevated CBD remedies. I like that copy, but how are your remedies actually elevated? They're elevated because they're made from scratch, and a lot of people don't know that the cannabis industry, and specifically the CBD industry, is not regulated by the FDA, and so we put our own regulations in place to make sure that everything has pure and potency that is as listed on the label and pretend as if the FDA is regulating us. How'd you come up with the name? I actually lived on the High Line, so it was sort of the first thing in my head when I was thinking about how do we name it where it's very clear to consumers that we're from New York. And I looked out my window, there was the High Line, there was the double entendre. It would play as we got into THC, and that's really the the impetus. Marijuana legalization is picking up speed in the U.S. Do you think legalizing weed will help or hurt the CBD space? I think it will help the CBD space because still, even though it's non-intoxicating, it's not get you high, it's still commonly associated with those properties. And so the more education and the more, frankly, adoption and acceptance, then it's a plus and a positive for the broader industry, hemp as well as marijuana. Would you ever expand to include cannabis products that really put the high into Highline Wellness? Absolutely, we are applying for a THC license to manufacture and distribute THC products within New York State. Is this a pleasant surprise or did you build the brand thinking one day I want to be able to include weed in the brand? We built the brand thinking that it's a matter of when and not if that THC goes legal in New York and we thought of CBD as the Trojan horse into this THC market. Explain the two-tone circle logo to me. It's simple and it represents balance. I notice it also is on your arm. Yes. And is that a real tattoo? It is a real tattoo. Who did the branding and what was the brief? Fahrenheit did the branding and the brief was to really create a brand ethos that was more representative of the brand that we were creating. Previous to the packaging that you see now, it was more black and white with a little bit of blue. It's more masculine, so we wanted to just make it more accessible and more gender neutral. Is it a non-binary brand? It's a non-binary brand. How much of your success do you attribute to good packaging? I think that's the really the first impression that we make with consumers and you only get one opportunity to do that. We do take that seriously and think it's an important part of the process. All right, we got the Flow Code Flow Card. So this season, Flow Code is sponsoring I'm With The Brand. They're a next generation QR technology that makes a beautiful kind of their own proprietary QR code that can go on your packaging and allow you to have direct connections with consumers. People at home are gonna see a QR code over our screen right now. They can pull their phones out and scan the Flow Code and it will take them to their custom Flow page. What would you like Flow Code to put on your Flow page? It would be our website with a link to all of our lab results. So for that exact product that you are picking up and scanning, that you would have that specific batch and that specific lab result to ensure that no chemicals, no pesticides, and 99% pure CBD with zero THC. How do you make sure your brand resonates and doesn't just check boxes? Supplying products that improve quality of life. That is our North Star. And so as long as we do that well and do a good job of improving quality of life, then our products, people won't want to go without them. How do you measure that? Repeat customer rate and by word of mouth. Are you more focused on getting current CBD users to switch to Highline or convincing first timers to give it a go? More focused on resonating with first timers users and introducing a whole new customer base to CBD for the first time. Highline Wellness CBD enemas, good idea or not? We don't make any products specifically for that, but to each its own, and if that's how you like to consume it, then yeah. 
perfect. How important are influencers? Very important. If you had one marketing dollar to spend, where would you spend it? Influencer marketing. How do you delineate between sending them the box with a handwritten note versus the pay to play? We typically start by sending out products and once we confirm that it is the right fit with their following and that they like our products and benefit from them, then that's when we move on to a paid contract and working out something a little bit more substantial. I've learned a lot of brands have a certain tribe that really helps them fuel their success. Who's your tribe? 25 to 35 year old young professionals that are looking to cope with anxiety with all natural remedies. What's the key to your business? Creating products that improve the quality of life. What's been the coolest moment so far? Building an amazing team, amazing employees and amazing partners, and all being a part of something bigger than ourselves. What keeps you up at night and what time do you wake up in the morning? It changes each week. There's usually something that I'm stressing about. I wake up about 6.30. Alarm clock or nature? Nature. What's the best part of the job? Freedom and really building something from scratch. Are your parents proud? Yes. How will you know when you've made it? When we are the biggest cannabis brand in New York. Who do you aspire to be? The best version of myself and to be a good leader, a good teammate, a good son and good brother. Chris Roth, founder and CEO of Highline Wellness, thank you so much for coming on here and answering some questions. Thank you very much for having me. I'm Ian Wishingrad and I will see you next time on I'm With The Brand.